Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I do my ponytail extension. When I first started learning how to do this, I, it's because I use synthetic hair for only ponytail extensions. When it comes to clip-in extensions for like when my hair is down, I use real hair, real human hair extensions. But when it comes to ponytails and braiding, uh, I use synthetic hair. It is a little bit hard in the beginning. So I'm hoping this video will help whoever wants to learn and especially since synthetic hair is cheaper than real human hair. Like I said, when it comes to clip-in extensions to use for when your hair is down, those are worth investing into real human hair extensions and it's completely worth it. Don't use synthetic hair for that. But when it comes to, you know, the ponytail and braiding hair, I think synthetic is a good option. So. I'm gonna show you guys today how I do that. Let's get into it. So I have my normal day old hair and my nail is falling off, so it's like getting all stuck. Don't worry, I have a nail appointment coming soon. So I'm going to, I'm, I'm in a curly mood today. So I'm gonna curl my hair and put that into a ponytail. And I have two different types. I have a straight hair ponytail and a curly hair ponytail. Like I said, with synthetic hair, you can't style it, so you know you're gonna have to just use whatever you have so yeah I have curly I'm in a curly mood today and I haven't done it in a while so yeah uh, I don't think you guys really care to see how I curl my hair but I'll just show I'll throw in a couple clips by the way I don't know if you guys have noticed but I'm back to black I just I just think black's my color the brown it didn't look bad but I just think that I look better with black hair and I just it's my thing. It's my thing, and I don't think it's. I don't think it's gonna go anytime soon. And I don't know if you guys also noticed, but my room is gray. Normally, when I film videos, like right here in my vanity, you guys would always see drywall here, and it was like white and ugly. And yeah, so finally, my room's painted. We're just missing shutters. I don't think I want to put curtains. I, I think I'm gonna put shutters instead and my bed my, my mattress is currently on the floor but i do have i do have a new bed coming in the mail and i bought a tv too that's also on the floor um but i bought the mount it's right there in the box so i just need my dad to install it and yeah for the most part my room is almost done after a year of moving here i finally like gonna complete my room and I'm so happy and yeah so the vibe is like gray you know what if you guys want a room tour I'd be so down to do that because first of all room tours are so like 2012 I grew up loving to watch room tours so if you guys want to see that I'd be so down to do that I'm bringing old YouTube back that's what I'm doing Okay, let's get started on the hair tutorial. Like I said, I don't think you guys really care to see how I curl my hair, but um, I use this one. I do like it, I just don't like the size of the barrel. I do wish it was a bit thicker so that the curls are bigger. I don't really like tight curls, but it is what it is. I already have this one, so it's the only one I have too. So um, I'm just gonna curl my hair. It's really nothing special. I just grab it, twirl it around, and I'm not gonna lie, this is a pretty good quality one because it's ceramic. Um, but like I said, the only thing I hate is that it's so small, the curls. But thankfully, like as time goes by, the curl gets looser, so a win is a win. There you go. So yeah, I just do it throughout my whole hair, and yeah, I'll see you guys when I'm done. My hair is curled. Sorry, Dirk. Um, sorry guys. Um, okay, so I have my hair curled now. Now I'm gonna put it in a ponytail. I'm not really too worried about the curls looking too defined because it's just gonna be up and in a ponytail and then I'm gonna have the ponytail extension cover it so no point but I just 
This is just water. Oh wait, I am not on my A-game today. I clipped my bangs. Then I grab some gel. I dip my brush into the gel. Much better. Then I tie it up. So I have my extension here. It's a little tangled, but that's kind of what you get with synthetic hair. This is from Amazon. And it's super long. I love it. So, you're going to need your ponytail extension and then, so I, I don't know how I didn't notice it, but my ponytail was too low, so I put it higher. And then this one has two clips on the side and then the drawstring to make it tighter. So, it is a little frizzy, but you know, it's synthetic, so I can't really do much about it. I put them on the sides of the ponytail I think you're supposed to put them like on the front and back of the ponytail but for me it just works better like this and then I tighten it and I tighten it like really 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 tight because we do not want this to fall off I grab this string and then I grab a piece of hair and then I cover it just to make it like a more cleaner look and to conceal the drawstring as well. I'm not gonna lie, I have a little bit of hair loss right here. I think it's because I style my baby hairs a lot. So I grab some black eyeshadow. And I grab a spoolie and just style. I don't really know how to style baby hairs. I just kind of like wing it, I guess. But yeah, that is pretty much it. <sighs> this part's like frustrating. But yeah, this is the final product. I'm not gonna lie though, when it comes to straight hair the ponytail is a little bit different the ponytail extension it's more like it doesn't have a drawstring like this one and it's kind of like you have to clip it in and then get the straight hair and tie it around and uh, that one i think is a little bit different so if you guys want me to show you how i style that one too i'm more than happy to do that for you but this one's definitely easier to style and i like it i like it a lot um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys learned something new and i'll see you guys next time